Hi guys. Okay. So I've done like three video, well two videos. This would be my third one tonight. Um, but I'm just gonna do a quick update because it's been a while since you guys have been here. What am I sitting on? Okay. Um, it's been a while <clears throat> since I've uploaded a YouTube video. So let's see. We're gonna run through this real quick. I have one son now. He's one. His name is Melvin. Um, I am also married. Um, I've been married for going on a year now. No, a year and a half. Right. Because I try to keep up here. April 18, 2018 is when my son was born. April 7th, 2018 is when I got officially married. Um, um. And I was engaged in November 2016. So, that is currently what's going on. I've got a son, a husband. I'm working on my own place, y'all. That's what I'm working on. We got some money saved up. We've got $514 saved up. Um, and by January, we're going to be out of here. Um, so, whew, of course, I wasn't expecting to get pregnant. But I was trying for a while, if you guys remember, a couple of my YouTube videos states that I was trying to get pregnant um, because I was worried about my lupus acting up. However, as it may be, I had... The best pregnancy ever, ever. I got sick once. The day that I found out I was pregnant was the day I had a wave of nausea. And I say a wave because I was literally on the bus on my way to school. And my stomach was like, uh-uh, girl, what'd you eat? And then it was cool. So I thought I was just, like, sick. I was, like, like going to catch something, throw up. I'll be good. But no. Um. I remember that day I was instinctively like in English and I was like, where the hell is my goddamn period? And I was always, always, well, I wasn't always a regular, but a couple months, don't want to say, I had just gotten off the depot. So my periods were not regular. They were everywhere. So I was like. Where's my period, Jesus? <laughs> where's my period? I don't know where it's at. Um, and I called my then boyfriend. So, uh, I don't know where my period is. And I don't know if I'm just having one of those moments where I think I'm pregnant, but I'm really not. Because, like, when I tell y'all, when I was trying to get pregnant, I was doing everything right. I bought the ovulation tests. I bought the pregnancy test, the extra ones. Like, it was to the point where people were coming to me to get free pregnancy tests. Because that's how many I had. I was trying to get pregnant. And, um, I had all that. And I had got down to my last ovulation test. And I was like, fuck this. I'm over this shit. It'll happen when it happens. I'm done. I'm not trying no more. This is too hard. Um, so... I just gave up. I just gave up. And I think a couple weeks after that, that's when I found out I was pregnant. And my husband was like, so just get a pregnancy test on your way home. You can take it at my house because we didn't live together. Um, you can take it at my house and we'll see what's going on. I was like, okay. And so I went into Target because Blue Ash, if anybody is in the Cincinnati Blue Ash area, you know Blue Ash you see campus and Target are right next to each other. So I got off the bus, went to Target, got my pregnancy test, talked to some old co-workers. And I was like, yeah, I can't find my period. And one of my friends, she was just like, you're pregnant. I was like, why would you just put that on me like that? Like, by then when I gave up, I was like, okay, I'm just going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on school. So the whole concept of pregnancy was like, bye, Dion. I'll see you later. So I was like, okay, whatevs. 
So I got this pregnancy test, got on the bus. I'm nervous the whole way there. I'm like, like looking at calendars, looking at my my preg my period uh apps. Like, where the fuck is this bitch's period? Like, so I get to my boyfriend's house, then boyfriend, and I go sit on the potty, and I come back, and it turns to lines. I'm like, what? Tears. But, y'all, I didn't believe it. So, I made him get up. And we drove to get another one. And it turns out, and it said, Dion, you're pregnant. I said, fuck you, I don't believe it. So, I picked up my best friend. Me, my boyfriend, and my best friend. We're all in the car now. And I'm showing her these pregnancy tests. And she's like... Yeah, you're pregnant. I'm like, no, I'm not pregnant. It took me five pregnancy tests for it to seep into my head. So I'm calling everybody. I'm like, I'm pregnant. Now, mind you, when I was trying to get pregnant, I had this way of I was going to tell everybody. I was going to surprise my boyfriend. All that. All that shit just right out the window with the concept of being pregnant. So I was just like, I'm pregnant. And then everything just kind of happened from there. Like, I got the, my chronic fatigue was so much worse. Like, I was falling asleep in class. I was falling asleep at work. Um, I was sleeping constantly. I could eat whatever I wanted. One thing that my son wanted was McDonald's. He wanted a uh, a cheeseburger with mayo on it. Never had a cheese. I mean, no, never had a cheeseburger with mayo um but that's that's what i wanted and every day my grandma would go get me one every day and then when we went to the mall we would i we i would make him take me to the mall to get some burroughs pizza and two apple juices apple juice was life um it's still life now like i can't get rid of it uh, my son now he loves pizza and we both love apple juice. Um, I have not had McDonald's cheeseburgers. I'm not going back to that life. <laughs> I don't even know where the hell it came from because I hadn't, before I got pregnant, I hadn't eaten a cheeseburger from McDonald's in three fucking years. And out of the blue, I get pregnant and that's all this kid wants. So, but yeah, after that wave of nausea, I didn't have morning sickness. I could eat whatever I wanted. Um, I was good. I was a happy pregnant girl. Okay. I was peachy. Um, labor. So what had happened was. I was. I had a schedule induction. Because my placenta stopped working. And so. I went in on a Tuesday to have a regular checkup and confirm everything that was supposed to happen that Saturday. However, my blood pressure was high. They were like, oh, Dion, we're just going to keep you. We're going to go ahead and get you induced. I was like, really? That's how you want to do me? Okay. Like, I was expecting to work the rest of this week. And then, you know schedule all that stuff out so 34 weeks is when he was born um i was really worried because he was breathing on his own he was practicing breathing in the wound but he was small and my placenta stopped working so i was petrified but i couldn't let myself get wor uh, worried and worked up because that would affect him so i went ahead we go up we went ahead got me to do 16 hours of labor y'all and i was trying my hardest to go natural i was trying i was i was like i'm gonna push this baby out no epidural i got this i did not have that no not at all i i give full kudos to the people who to the women who could just push out them babies naturally because i tried it them contraction was like, bitch, you don't know what you went for. I was like, you right. Where's that up and durrow? This is how strong my contractions was. 
I didn't feel the epidural go in. Not at all. My back is fine. Like, it don't hurt. My back was hurting and bad because of an accident I was in. Not because of my epidural. Um, I didn't have any problems with the epidural. It went straight in. Yo. The epidural was life. When that epidural and that medicine hit my lo- hit my body, I went from screaming to smiling. I was good. Like, I was so numb that the nurses had to watch the monitor to see when I was having a contraction to tell me when to push. Because I didn't know when to push. I didn't know when a contraction was coming. That's how numb I was. Um, but 16 hours of labor, 2.15 p.m., April 18, 2018, this boy, my little baby, was born. Um, so... I was happy about that. Uh, That was exciting. I had my mom, my grandma, and his mom in the same room. (sighs) Never again. No. Next time it's just going to be me and Melvin. Me, Melvin, maybe my sister. Maybe his sister. I don't know, but it won't be them three people in the room again. Ever, ever again. Nope, my grandma almost got almost left because I was cussing up a storm. I was hungry. They caught me at a time where I was supposed to come in for the appointment and go home and eat. But no, nope, high ass bum fucking blood pressure got my ass. So she was, oh, I'm gonna go home. I told her, I don't give a fuck if you leave. I'm hungry. I want to eat. If you going to if you're gonna go, see you later. Bye. I didn't care. I was hungry, y'all. That labor rage is real. Especially when you ain't been when you can't eat. That is real. Um But other than that, my, my shit was peachy. I was cool. I was a happy pregnant bitch. And everybody keeps telling me it's because it was my first pregnancy and I was like I mean, I guess y'all right. I don't know. Maybe I just had real bad first pregnancies. But this girl was good. I was ecstatic. I was a happy pregnant girl. Like, nothing could bring me down. Nothing. I was happy. Um, For my wedding. Okay, so we're supposed to have this big ass wedding. Well, it wasn't going to be big, but it was going to be medium. Like, we, we was going to have a decent decent wedding but then i got pregnant and i didn't want to have the baby out of wedlock so with melvin's mom you know not his mom melvin's grandmother being a pastor she wedded us and we had it at his house it was this little traditional wedding only like 10 people were there um it was traditional as hell it wasn't nothing big we went out to eat after that I mean, everybody knew he was destined to get pregnant anyway because me and Melvin been together for, like, ages. Forever. So, everybody knew he was getting married. It wasn't a big deal. Um, I know I'm planning for a honeymoon because I ain't get one of them because I was pregnant with that little baby. And I ain't getting no honeymoon. So, I'm getting a honeymoon somewhere. Somewhere, Dion's getting a honeymoon. I don't know where it's going to be at, but I'm getting a honeymoon, damn it. I'm going to fucking Hawaii or something. I don't know, but... um, So, that happened. That's basically it. Like, that's that's all that has happened. Um, we're working on... Me and my husband, we both live with my grandma now. Um, we help her out with bills and cleaning around the house and stuff like that. But... This January 2020, we are looking for our own place. We're going to be moving out. And I'm serious, y'all. I'm putting that into the universe. I will be moved out. I want my son to have his own little space. I want to be able to have my own little space for me and my husband. I just want us to have our own. And me personally, I think it's time. Uh, I definitely think it's time, like... Having my grandmother around when I 
was pregnant and had a newborn, it was helpful. It was wonderful. But I'm to the point now where I am about to be 25. And I'll still come over here and help her. I'll still help wash dishes, wash towels, pay whatever bills, whatever. But I want my own. Like every other person in this world, I want my own. And I'm going out to get it. This girl's going to get it. So I've been saving up money. He's been, he just got a new job. It's real good. Um, I've been working at keep getting money put aside. Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing good. You know, we're just trying to make it like everybody else. You know, just stand in our own little lane. Um, one thing for new mothers that I would say is detrimental. Well, two. Trey has his own bank account. Um, it's in my name, but it's for him. It is for his... When he starts school, I have a checking account for him. Any field trips, uh, after school programs, they got to get paid for it. He's got money coming out of there. His savings is for college. I started this when I found out I was pregnant. Um, because school is... It should not cost this much to be smart, but it really do cost that much. And I know when Denisha went to Clark, she was going every year. They had a new trip or to go to camp or something. Something costed money. So I'm just trying to be prepared for that. So I definitely am happy that I have that set up for him. Um, two. Having buying things before you like when you find out you're pregnant, because that's what I did with Trey. I had everything, I had every set of diapers, hella wipes, hella clothes. Um, you could go get neutral stuff, it doesn't have to be color based. Um, and then when you find out what you're having, you can do it that way. And I also had a baby shower, nobody came, but that's because we didn't know when he was coming. So, people were scheduled to come, but then I put up, um, he may come sooner, so don't worry about the baby shower because it was clashing. And so, you know, it is what it is. People schedule things. Whatever. Anyway, he got a lot of stuff still. He got some clothes. People sent stuff to the house. All that good stuff. Um, so, it was fine. It wasn't nothing big. It was cool. So... We did that. That was fine. That was cool. Calm collective. But yeah, personally, just getting stuff for your kid be, when you find out you're pregnant will help. You will always need wipes. You will always need diapers until they're body trained. Um, so I had every type of size diaper. I didn't care about the brand. Um, because, you know, people were giving me stuff and I was getting what I could before he came. So, I didn't care about the brand. It was a diaper. He got it. Um, although, I am a Loves fan. <laughs> I know I didn't care about the brand then, but I am a Loves fan. Their diapers are cool. Uh, but, yeah. And then, uh, an account for your kid. Because it's expensive going to school. And that's legit how people get stuck in that constant cycle of being middle class and poor. Because... You go to college for all this shit, and then you're in debt. Just debt. And then on top of going to college, getting a degree, most colleges don't um, give you internships so that you can build up to being in a company for your field or in a job for your field. I think, um, I know UC does it. It's a mandatory thing. Um, but you don't like you have to have that experience for the degree that you just got out of college for which is kind of special because you just got out of college for this degree why would you have experience unless there was an internship building up to that you getting that job or you know that position so some things are so backwards to me in the educational you know whatever um so yeah but college is definitely I'm not saying it's for everybody, and it might not be for my son. I don't know. But it, the money, he will have something to start off with when he goes, if he goes. Whatever he got in his little beautiful head, as long as he got a plan, 
That's all I'm worried about. You're not going to be 30 and on my damn couch and eat my damn food and you ain't got a plan. No. Mm -mm. You ain't got to go to college, but if you ain't got to go to college, you need to start trying to invent the next super shoe, the new phone, entrepreneur. I don't give a shit, but you got to have a plan. You're not going to be a bum on my couch. I want a bum on my mama couch, so you're not going to be a bum. That is my life thing right there. If I can't be a bum, you can't be a bum. Point blank the end. But anyway... So, yeah, those are the things in my life that has happened. That's the updates. Um, nothing really small. All of these are major updates, um, major events. And I'm a happy camper. I don't have too much to complain about. I'm good. I'm peachy. I smile every day. I'm, I'm good. Like, life is good. You just keep pushing forward. Keep setting goals. Keep accomplishing them. And that's where I stand. So... Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys know when I post. Whew, and I'm about to go on a cleanse in about an hour. I think it's probably 30 minutes now. But uh, no food, so that's going to be fun. But, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about what I've said today and how y'all feel about it and what was your experience getting pregnant and things like that. But um yeah, I was I was cool pregnant. I was good. I loved it. Every minute of it. Um so I will talk to you guys later. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm about to get me some tea and go to bed cuz I'm tired. I've been up all day. I've been running. Um so, let me know what y'all think. I love you guys. Bye.